All right, fellow bass players, uh, thank you for your patience uh, after much delay on my launch for the, these patches. Uh, I'm happy to announce that by the end of June, uh, the website will be up and running and you can check out my patches over that website. I just want to let you know and uh, let you hear uh, that uh, my jazz bass patch can work on both passive and active basis. Right now, I'm holding the Fender Marcus Miller, but later on, I will demo it with a passive uh, jazz bass for you to hear, all right? Um, three uh, snapshots uh, for this patch. First snapshot would be a brighter tone. Second snapshot would be uh, a darker or warmer tone. And the third snapshot would be uh, my chorus um, you can also add a um, the reverb or a minotaur drive uh, that uh, I programmed uh, for this patch um, let's hear it the clean one <laughs> Uh, one IR I favor uh, for recording purposes and one IR I favor for uh, live situation so it's really up to you uh, it boils down on how to use your ears you also need to uh, adjust these settings according to uh, the acoustics of your venue always remember that there is no one setting for every venue so you still have to use your ears guys second snapshot warmer tone <laughs> discussed uh, how I programmed uh, the stomp and my signal flow uh, coming from the ABY switch. Third snapshot, reverb and chorus. <laughs> Jazz bass, I will just 
put the master volume a little bit up since it's a passive instrument so let's check it out back to the first snapshot <coughs> Second snapshot, warmer tone. Third snapshot. So please take note also that I have created this patch according to my touch, my taste, and uh, how uh, my playing style reacts to from the bass to the whole uh, electronics thing. So you might need to tweak it according to your taste. But my goal here is... Uh, uniformity and consistency between my recorded sound and in a live situation so you might need st still to tweak it according uh, to your own preference so every uh, cat is different so please enjoy this patch let me know on uh, how you will use it uh, whether in a live or a recording situation where it and uh, it's very much open for suggestions so that uh yeah ever evolving sound so i also respect the process of evolution thank you again guys for your support hx stomp helix family you rock